don't want to ruin your big night, but I have some bad news and thought you should hear it from me first. What's going on? Management has started drawing entry numbers for the Royal Rumble. And I found out that you drew number two. Damn. I know. I tried talking to Mandy, but she couldn't change it. There's only so much power I have around here. But look, I was in the same spot in 2014. I can't remember. Did you win? No. But I lasted nearly 50 minutes, making it to the final five. But you can do more. You can win. I know it. And then after that, at WrestleMania, you defeat the Universal Champion from SmackDown, and we control WWE together. Sounds like a plan. You're damn right it does. The following contest is the Royal Rumble match. The two superstars that drew number one and number two will start in the ring at the same time. Other superstars will join in the order that they drew. This will continue until all 30 superstars have entered the ring. Eliminations occur when a superstar is thrown over the top rope with both feet landing on the floor. The last superstar in the ring will be declared the Royal Rumble winner and go on to face the champion of their choice at WrestleMania! It's time to take this night to the moon. The wealthiest man in all of NXT. Introducing the participants first from Burlington, North Carolina, weighing in at 220 pounds, Cameron Grimes. A trainee of the Hardy Boys who is now rich enough to buy the whole Hardy compound. That's amazing to think about, but actually a better reason to become friends with him. Maybe Cameron could buy somewhere for you to live so you can move out of your mom's basement. Hey, hey. Everything about Cameron Grimes is money. A diamond-encrusted hat on the inside. Saxon, that's why you're not allowed to touch Cameron's hat. Not even for like a minute? No. Introducing the individual who drew number two from Fontana, California, weighing in at 255 pounds, Jack Wolf. Well, this superstar wants to accomplish what many have deemed impossible and go on to main event WrestleMania. This superstar better get ready to be pushed to the limits. When it comes to limits, Byron, I assure you, this superstar is equipped and ready to push back. One of the most spectacular events of the year is about to get underway. The Royal Rumble match. As you know, the winner will secure an opportunity to challenge for a championship on the grandest stage of them all, WrestleMania. I've got chills, Michael. Think of all the legends who have won the Royal Rumble. Think of all those electric Rumble moments has been we've seen eliminated. Years. And tonight, one of 30 superstars will join that pantheon of greats. And 29 others will go home losers, likely including those unlucky superstars who face the difficult challenge of having to kick things off at numbers one and two. Put it in the corner now. He 
takes control. Quick exchange of counters there. Ouch. Listen to this crowd count the next one in. Now there's a guy you do not want to see at this point in the match. Fighting back by the counter. Back in the ring now, and it's turned around on Lee. Oof, nasty left hook.
some ring IQ on display there. And that is Eric Pierce has been eliminated. Got him where he wants him. Up and Falcon Arrow suplex. Who's gonna enter next?
best competitors showing they've done their homework. Devastating elbow. The following contest is a triple threat match. Making his way to the ring from Fontana, California. Weighing in at 255 pounds, Jack Wolf. After bouncing around pro football, this guy learned how many athletes went from the gridiron to WWE and found a new dream to chase. His move from the field to the ring has been nothing short of impressive. The self-proclaimed greatest sports entertainer in history. And his opponents, first, from Milwaukee, Wisconsin, weighing in at 201 pounds, Tommaso Ciampa! Yeah, just ask Johnny Gargano how dangerous Tommaso Ciampa is. His Former best friend, former tag team partner, and Champa willingly stabbed him in the back. Champa knows what it takes to succeed and reach the pinnacle. The years spent learning and excelling on the independent scene. Champa comes from a pedigree like none other. You can look around the locker room and have a hard time finding anyone who has a kind word to say about Tommaso Ciampa, but that's because they're jealous. They're jealous of the accomplishments of this man, the attitude possessed by the black heart of NXT. 
Well, personality flaws aside, there's no questioning or doubting the impressive skill set of Tommaso Ciampa. Tonight just became phenomenal. A terrific striker, a master purveyor of high-flying, innovative offense. AJ Styles has competed at this level for decades. Such a special and athlete. From Gainesville, Georgia, weighing in at 218 pounds. He is the consummate in-ring competitor. Well, AJ Styles is a great competitor, but hardly professional. Come on, Byron, you can't argue with AJ's success. The WWE Universe continues to process the shocking developments coming out of the Royal Rumble. Nobody imagined that an opportunity to challenge for the Universal or WWE Championship would still be on the table tonight. But here we are. A triple threat match to punch a ticket to WrestleMania. It doesn't get any bigger than this, Cole. And as far as triple threats go, this has three legit contenders. Or maybe four if you count the influence of Seth Rollins. If I were Tommaso Ciampa or AJ Styles, I'd keep an especially close eye on Seth's buddy to see what he's got up his sleeve. Jeez. Ooh, right in the face. Oh, here we go. Buster. He's getting a little battered now. Ooh, he caught him right in the face. He goes. Ooh, accurate roundhouse. Oh my God. Oh, and a backbreaker. Right. And here we go. Locked in. It's locked in. Working. Hurts that time. Oh, he doesn't connect. And he breaks the hold. Kick 
right to the ribs. And there's more to come. Brain Buster. This match is brutality starting to show on him. This should come as no surprise. In a havoc-filled triple threat, you're going to take some big hits. Punch right in the head. Trapping their opponent's arm. Quick return to the ring. He gets there. A few seconds longer in this match would have been over. Oh, what a wind up. Check out this power, ladies and gentlemen. Up this and... to the neck, neck breaker. Wait, what a devastating kick. He's taking some good hits. Oh, it's right to the side of the face. Champa gets countered there. He returns to the ring. He is truly is going to be nasty. There's the power into the jacket. Crucial moment for Styles. Going right to the spine with the knee. That was vicious. He's going for the pin. This could be it. victory in this triple threat match. Three superstars absolutely giving it their all, with one breaking away from the pack in the most dominant way possible. What a match. What a win. Let's hear what WWE Champion Seth Rollins has to say after his little misstep on social media. His account was hacked. Part of being the Monday Night Messiah is being honest with your disciples. It's that trust, that bond that gives us strength and allows us to accomplish great things. So I'm here tonight to tell the truth about why I did what I did to show it was all for the greater good and still can be. So, I'll speak directly to our discontented brother, Messiah to man. First, let's get this out of the way. My social media account was not hacked. We did have intentions of striking you down if you chose to face me at WrestleMania. That's the truth. But full disclosure, there were other transgressions that took place before that. I told Mandy Rose that you didn't want an automatic qualifying spot in the Rumble, that you really wanted to earn it, which got you put in the 10-man qualifying match. That's the truth. And then, when you won that match, we needed another plan. So, I pulled some strings and got you the number two entry spot in the Rumble. And then, of course, we all know how that turned out and how we ended up here tonight. And all of that is the truth. So now, I've bared my soul to you and shown you everything. We can still work together. We can still do great things. Win the Universal Championship at WrestleMania and we can take over WWE like we had planned. Or, you can ignore the truth, throw everything away, and take on the Monday Night Messiah and his disciples and face your destruction at our hands. Make 
no mistake. If you challenge us, we will finish the burial that I started. But remember, I was just trying to steer you toward the correct choice to help you succeed. And that's what I'm doing again now. But this is it. It's your last chance. Make the right decision. Honor the truth. And trust me for the greater good. Will the Royal Rumble winner listen to the Monday Night Messiah and put this all behind them? Or will he choose to take on Seth Rollins at WrestleMania? We'll find out soon enough. The WWE Universe heard from Seth Rollins earlier tonight, and we all want to know, did his words have any impact on who you will face at WrestleMania? You might be wondering why I'm holding this shovel. You see, Seth likes to speak in metaphors and talk about all sorts of things like the greater good and embracing the truth. <laughs> so I figured I'd speak his language. Seth, you and your disciples tried to bury me, but you failed. And now, I'm going to bury you at WrestleMania. That's right, I'm not changing my mind. But you know what? Why wait until WrestleMania? I'm going to start the burial tonight by taking out your disciples in a three-on-one match. <laughs> Actually, I forgot about the shovel. Make that three-on-two. As Seth Rollins' followers prepare for this three-on-one match against their former ally, you have to imagine their leader, the Monday Night Messiah, will be watching closely. With the odds heavily in their favor, Seth won't be satisfied with anything other than a convincing win. I think that's exactly what we're gonna see here tonight. From behind with that shovel. He's not waiting for the match to start. It's no longer three on one, that shovel's an equalizer. He's taken out weeks of built up frustration after being held back by Seth and his group. He said he was gonna bury Seth's followers, but I didn't know he meant it literally. I think Mustafa Ali and Austin Theory could have serious injuries. It doesn't appear that the scheduled match will take place. Seth's crew is decimated. Maybe, but it looks like Murphy still wants to fight. Poor decision on his part. This guy's out for vengeance. Nonetheless, it looks like we're now going to have a singles match. And you are looking at one of the most unshakable superstars on the roster. Absolutely a picture of resilience. He's been through ups and downs, but has never given up the fight. Bitter perseverance is what will make him such a threat in this matchup. Then there's Murphy across the ring, a man searching for recognition. A superstar who's trying to step out of the shadows and make a name for himself. Murphy may be overshadowed at times, but make no mistake about it. Murphy's a wildly talented competitor with a chip on his shoulder and fire in his lungs. Stop! Murphy can't find a foothold in this match. Any chance for Murphy's offense is being trampled. Oh, and sent flying is Murphy! Uh-oh, way too... Whoa, look out! Talk about undeterred courage, letting everything loose from the top turnbuckle. Two. Heads outside, but this one has to end in the ring. Three. Into the ring now. Four. a perfectly placed target. Vicious shoulder tackle in the corner. And the unabated offense continues. He's going to have to dig out of this in a hurry. Punch right in the head. Snap suplex. Very nice. Hitting the elbow drop. He's exposed, looking like a sitting duck right now. Spear. That's gotta be it. Two count. Three. And this one is over. Here is your winner, Jack Wolf. 
This was as dominant a win as I've ever seen, guys. This is what you get when you have complete confidence and control of the situation. The following contest is scheduled for one fall and is for the WWE Championship. Big title match on the way. Do you have a favorite in this match, Corey? I honestly can't say that I do, Cole. These guys are hungry, determined, and in great shape. It's anyone's game tonight. Well, the Messiah has arrived. It is time to embrace the vision. The Messiah and his kingdom set Rollins at the showcase of the Immortals. All right, that's it. Michael, you of all people have to remember the heist of the century when Rollins cashed in his money in the bank at WrestleMania 31. He'd go on to defeat Triple H at WrestleMania 33, but the highlights don't stop there, Byron. Well, Rollins won the Intercontinental title at WrestleMania 34 won the WWE Championship at WrestleMania 35, and Rollins is guaranteed to perform another WrestleMania miracle tonight. Introducing the challenger from Fontana, California, weighing in at 255 pounds, Jack. And introducing the champion from Davenport, Iowa, weighing in at 217 pounds, he is the WWE Champion, Seth Rollins! To hold one of the biggest titles in WWE means you're one of the best in the industry. The road to WrestleMania has led to this. The defending WWE Champion Seth Rollins.
Rollins will take on his former associate, a superstar who some have called the Grave Digger, due to his vicious pledge to bury Seth Rollins once and for all in tonight's No DQ WWE Championship match. One of WWE's most fearsome alliances has been shattered by the quest for this WWE Championship, Michael. You have to wonder how those betrayals will affect the outcome of one of the most personal WrestleMania main event. Uh oh just exhibiting their fearlessness. Exhibiting guts and accuracy as well. There's some power behind that punch. Oh, here we go. Brain Buster! Gentlemen, <laughs> suplex! The champ getting put to the test here. Rollins got out of the way. He slides back into the ring. Good technique reversing Rollins. It's the Don Snap Suplex so quick. Just punched him right in the mouth. Oh, Relentless. Oh, enough already. Rolling neck snap. Seth Rollins just getting dismantled. This can't be how Rollins envisioned his night going. Stop! The face of Seth Rollins looks like it's been through a wood chipper. Nice backbreaker. Last we knew, they weren't medically cleared to be here. Looks like they're going to get revenge for what was done to them on Raw with that shovel. Never underestimate the Monday Night Messiah. We should have known he wasn't going into this match without a backup plan. I know there's been a lot of turmoil between these men, and this is no disqualification, but this is WrestleMania. It's not supposed to end like this. This is going to get ugly. I can't watch. <laughs> what the hell? What just happened? And more than a new champion, it looks like we have a new alliance with a new leader. I think we just saw the birth of a new Monday Night Messiah. And Seth Rollins can't believe it. He thought he had the match and his WWE Championship secured, but that was not the case. The new champion set out to bury him, and that is exactly what he just did. This is a WrestleMania moment that will be remembered for a very long time. I'm in shock. Wow, uh, congrats to the new champion, I guess. The following contest is a steel cage match and is for the WWE Championship.
Remember, guys, the title is on the line here in this one. And I don't remember the last time the champ was in this much jeopardy, Cole. Tonight might just be the night the title changes hands. Well, the Messiah has arrived. It is time to embrace the vision. A multiple time WWE champion and countless other singles and tag team titles in addition to money in the bank and winning the Royal Rumble. Yeah, but Saxton, now Rollins has a much higher calling, an even greater purpose. Well, that's what he would have you believe. I think it's all just a ruse to sneak his way into the main event, personally. Introducing the challenger from Davenport, Iowa, weighing in at 217 pounds, Seth Rollins! And introducing the champion from Fontana, California, weighing in at 255 pounds, he is the WWE Champion, Jack Wolf. The stakes could not be any higher. It is time for our WWE Championship match. Tonight, the Monday Night Messiah preaches gospel from inside a steel cage as he tries to win back his title from the newly minted WWE Champion, who has proven time and time again he may very well be the most powerful man in there's nothing like strength in numbers, Michael, and the WWE Champion has that in spades with three new disciples in his corner. I just don't see a world where Murphy, Austin Theory, and Mustafa Ali don't find a way to get involved tonight, lock cage or not. Yeah, yeah, everyone in the WWE Universe has been talking about the shovel heard round the world at WrestleMania, but the reality is the new WWE Champion has been the man to beat all by himself. Seth Rollins' chances are whittling down, and Rollins in need of salvation. Rollins with a reversal, and Seth is finally able to mount some resistance with that. Yeah, he's able to stop that surge dead in its tracks. Big overhand. He got whipped into that corner. This is shoulder tackle in the corner. Control. Things are playing out exactly how he envisioned. Ah! And suplex. A bad place to be for the challenger. This match has been so back and forth. I think it could still go either way. Face first. Better be
be quick about it. Not much time to get over. Trying to escape the cage. Oh, no! From the top rope. And he hits the mat with a thud. Yeah, he's going to have to try something else now. Spider Rollins dead to rights in desperate need of salvation. This is gonna be nasty. There's the power into the driven down with a jackhammer. The title's going nowhere. Kiss your dreams. Good night. Believe it or not, it looks like they'll simply be walking out of this cage. Denied at the last second, forcing a fight for the door. The whole match is down. Just like that, cut him off at the pass. They're not getting out this easily. Oops, well measured. Oh, jeez. Here he goes, working his way up the side of the cage. And every inch climb puts you in a more perilous position. Needs to be careful, though. Every movement is a dangerous one. Fall from the cage. Oh, I did not like the look of it. Uh oh, this is going to be nasty. There's the power into the. Driven down with a jackhammer. The champ has this one in hand now. Open sesame, he says. Open that door up. Very interesting. Not wasting any time. Getting that door wide open. And the champ retains. Here is your winner, and still, the WWE Champion, Jack Wolf. I don't think anybody will question the toughness on this player tonight. Takes a lot of guts to even set foot in the cage, but to win is even more impressive.